This is Ride News Now. I'm Allison Hayslip. We're in some extreme times now, so I am shooting from my home because, you know, hashtag coronavirus. Uh, today, we will talk about a new Tesla scandal, scooter shares shutting down, and a great way to make money without leaving your home. Now, here's the latest in all things mobility. To many electric car fans, Tesla is all that and a bag of chips. Except the chips, in this case, aren't exactly as advertised. Confused? Yeah, we thought so. Tesla Model 3 buyers in China have noticed something funny going on when it comes to the computer chip that controls their car's electronic brain, specifically the much-hyped full self-driving mode that Tesla charges extra for. The chips used in some Model 3 sedans, those made at Tesla's new Gigafactory outside of Shanghai, are an older type that's much slower than the ones that full self-driving cars should be running. Tesla blames supply chain issues for the mix-up and promises to update any affected cars once production at the Shanghai plant gets back to normal. Yeah, normal. Whatever that may be. Well, all you scooter share haters have finally gotten your way, thanks to coronavirus. According to the Financial Times, Bird and Lime began suspending their scooter share services in cities across the US and Europe last week. The move was made in response to the growing pandemic. With a few U.S. states now under stay-at-home orders, like us here in California, <laughs> it's not exactly like their fleets were going to get increased usage anyways. However, with affordable alternatives to mass transit already in short supply, having one less option to travel at a good social distance is a bit of a bummer. I guess scooter lovers will have to walk, and the Bird Graveyard Instagram will have to rest in peace. Ah, don't you just love needless destruction? Hmm. So here's a perfect job for these imperfect times. How about life on the road from the comfort of your couch? Einride, a Swedish company specializing in electric-powered autonomous cargo trucks, is looking for its first virtual driver. That's right, they need someone to remotely monitor their fleet of self-driving trucks and take control if something goes wrong. The job includes nine months of training to become a remote self-driving truck operator. You'll have to move to Sweden, but you know what? Hey, that sounds great right about now. The trucks themselves are called pods and can be configured to haul all types of cargo, like logs. I mean, who doesn't love logs? They're so fibrous and sturdy. They have a top speed of 53 miles per hour and a driving range of about 124 miles. The trucks, not the logs. Although I suppose the logs do too if they are on the trucks, whatever. Currently, Einride is doing real world tests at a slightly more relaxed speed of three miles per hour. So you remote drivers might be sawing logs while watching your vehicles in action. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. For more tech news, join us over at ride.tech and be sure to follow Ride Tech News on your social platform of choice. Tesla blames supply chain issues for the mix-up and promises to update mm. The trucks themselves are called pods and can be configured to haul any types of cargo. All types. They also have a top speed of 55... No. The chips used in some Model 3 sedans, those... The chips used in some Model 3 sedans, those made at... There's a car alarm going off. Deal with it. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Also, head to ride.tech for stories, reviews, and more news.